So here's the next one up. This, uh, from what I can see, is a drift car. It's got the hood. I personally like little stuff like this. It gives the car character. You know, when you see stuff like that, um, you know, every car is a little bit different. It's got the, uh, the long tailpipe stuff. Switch over here. He's got the uh, just drift cone killer. So this is the next one up. I uh, already popped the hood, and when I popped the hood, I had uh, two surprises. One was no, well, actually, both are no big deal, and uh, kind of like how he did that. So I got the filter over there. Must have fell off. Not a big deal. But, and this isn't a big deal either. Normally, and I don't know, I'm trying to hold the hood open. You got the license plate over there, I've seen that before. There's an empty Modelo bottle over there. That's different. Uh, he's got an overflow over there with the Rockstar, which is fine as well. He asked me about that. So we're gonna get, get uh, going on this one and uh, do a follow up, get some videos in between. Hopefully you guys enjoying these videos. What is up guys? And girls. So we got this Nissan up in the air right now. We're going over everything. If this is your first time watching. Before it goes on the dyno, I do it once over. Just make sure everything looks safe. Make sure nothing just stands out that's gonna cause an issue on the dyno or else I wouldn't put it on. Um, I see a little, a little hidden bolt there. Um, we got, uh, we got some oil leaks, not a huge concern. We got the, got the hockey pucks being used. That is, that is pretty awesome. So we got the oil leaks. I'm sure he's aware of it. If not, I will mention that it is leaking to him. Not a huge deal. Um, the big thing, I see the gasket up here. That's gonna be before my O2 sensor. So I'm gonna put my O2 sensor in here. Uh, he does have an O2 sensor spot up, up above there, but you can see it actually has a spacer on it, looking way up there, way up there. Uh, it's got a spacer on there, so it, ain't, it won't read right. Um, so I'm gonna tap in here. The biggest thing though is that gasket, if it starts to leak ever, air fuel readings are gonna be off. So I'll let him know on that. I see a leak over here, and it could be from the trans, but the uh, brake lines too, I don't, I don't know if it's coming from the brake lines or not, but as I said, I'll note. I'm gonna watch how I walk over here because the last car was leaking oil, trying not to get it on my shoes. And we walk back here, going over all the stuff. One thing I did note um, was on this back tire, you can see that wet spot. Now, normally when you see a wet spot like that, um, you know, if the shock was leaking maybe, uh, but more so it's usually brake fluid but the brake line doesn't look like it's leaking from where I can tell and see. It might be. Um, you know, the car sat overnight, he dropped it off. So just something to note to him in case he does not know. Of course, if you lose brakes while you're driving, not good. Um, and like I said, this once over is just for safety for not only myself, but the car itself. I gotta make sure that I'm safe on the dyno. Um, and also if I see anything that's gonna prevent it from being dyno tuned, I would not put it on the dyno and I would tell the customer, hey, do you want to fix this yourself? Do you want us to fix it? Uh, we're probably gonna have some issues that's gonna prevent me from tuning it fully. So this is basically what I'm doing. Uh, the oil leaks, you know, we see it a lot. Is what it is. Looks like maybe some power steering fluid. Um, that's about it, I'm gonna lower it down. I gotta put my straps in straps on over the control arm strap ons and uh yeah so we'll go from there get cracking on this one this one is our own mega squirt
this one's a wrap, guys. 258 horsepower. His goal was 260. I would have liked to get two extra horsepower. It is what it is. Um, you can see in the video, it, this one's smoking too. Uh, what you can't see in the video though is the logs. So after about four, I think it was 4,000 or 4,500 RPMs, boost would just taper off. Um, you know, stuff like that is either gonna be boost leak, uh, he has an internal wastegate, the internal wastegate may not be holding shut. Uh, he actually informed me that it was the best internal wastegate that he was able to find because the, I think he said CX racing kit comes with uh, one that's junk. Um, you know, the other thing too, I mentioned uh, that, that back tire in the video earlier, uh, he did, he actually forgot to mention that the caliper is leaking, so um, good thing I didn't take it on a, a long test drive. Uh, one thing I do want to show you guys too though, at the very end, you can see these jaggedness. Um, we are having, uh, something something was going on, you know at this point You know at this point when the whole tunes going good and then stuff like that happens It could be a number of things could be fuel related could be ignition related um, Could be electrical, you know uh, biggest thing well, the other thing that I noted was it started more so happening after the car got below a quarter of a tank so maybe something's going out the fuel pump, um, maybe something's heat soaking. I recommended him just to upgrade the spark plug wires. He said the cap and rotor and spark plug wires are, are not that old, but uh, those spark plug wires, they're not the greatest from what I have seen over time. All in all, this one's a wrap. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think I have any other notes. We would be able to make more power. Like I said, he needs to look into the, why the boost is tapering off. Um, after about 4,000 RPMs, we definitely have more room to, to grow. Uh, 258 horsepower. If he fixes the boost issue, I believe we should be easily at um, probably close to 280, 300 horsepower. So we'll see. Hopefully he can have some fun in this, uh, get this thing sideways. He drifts. So on to the next one. And as I always say, you guys got questions, comments, hit us up. I'll do my best to try to find some time to help. Uh, best bet to get in contact with me is Facebook message or email. If you're looking to do any kind of build or tuning, you got questions, let us know. We'll get back to you. Go from there. Take care, guys. What's going on, guys? So a little bit behind the scenes, bonus footage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is Sunday. The customer with his schedule and how it worked, it was best for him to pick up the car today. So I met him at the shop. He informed me uh, earlier on a couple days ago that the brake caliper was in fact leaking. So I, I wasn't able to test drive the car in the street. So when he picked it up, you know, basically I said, hey, why don't you go take it for a test drive? You let me know how it feels and uh, I'll follow you. I'll get some footage of you uh, sliding in the car too. He informed me he hasn't actually slid in this car in about two years. I don't know if it's been down for two years, but at the end of the day, what keeps me going, what keeps me pushing and... Um, you know, the reward is seeing the customers enjoy the car. That's what does it for me. So very happy to be able to help him out, tune the car, and get it set up for him. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little bonus footage.